Welcome back everybody to another video and today's video is we're going to be checking out better furnaces mod. The mod is actually going to add in a lot of furnaces and allow you to uh, smelt things faster, give you upgrades and more. So these are going to be the furnaces. Uh, these are the furnaces right here. There's a butterfly right there. Get the hell out. We got the normal furnace. We got the iron furnace. We got the gold furnace. We got the diamond furnace, the hell furnace and the chest. I'll show you what that is for later and the extreme furnace. We are going to go on to the original furnace because you guys obviously know how to craft this. We got some cobble stone and eight cobblestone in one circle and you grab the furnace obviously if you guys know how to make that so the normal furnace actually gives you normal speed obviously because this is vanilla minecraft everybody knows the furnace and it actually allows you to have a speed like that it's not very fast not very sufficient and uh, will take forever to smell even if you guys have a stack of these in your house it's still going to take you 10 years to smell cobblestone if you guys are actually um, needing to make cobblestone and stuff like that it's just going to take forever just to do that going on to the iron furnace we have the iron yeah going on to the iron furnace on how to craft it you're gonna need some iron ingots in the furnace in the middle and you'll get the iron furnace the speed is this one is one times faster than the normal furnace and it's just one times faster you can notice the difference but you can't really it's not as that it's not that fast it's actually gonna it's, it's a little bit sufficient but it's not that sufficient and um it will actually smelt it a little bit faster than the normal furnace going on to the gold furnace we have um yeah the gold furnace going and we have gold ingots and iron in the middle and you'll get the gold furnace in the to the speed is two times faster than the uh, normal furnace and one times faster than the iron furnace it, you can you can tell the difference by the way you can tell the difference between the iron and the original furnace it is a little bit more faster and a lot more sufficient than the uh, normal furnace it will actually smelt your cobblestone or whatever you're smelting the stack it, will, it, it gives you the advantage of uh, having it go faster and it's just going to be a great way to keep your things all smelting faster and actually saving time going on to the diamond furnace we have glass four glass four diamond one gold furnace and you'll get the diamond furnace then you hit yeah then the speed on this one is three times faster than the normal furnace this one you will be able to tell the speed on it, it is a bit it's, it's, it's really fast it's not too bad but it is sufficient it is efficient for you if you guys have a stack of these in your house uh, put all, a whole bunch of uh, um, cobblestone in each one It'll uh, smelt your cobblestone faster than you guys can go collect more. And if you guys would build, it saves you more time and stuff like that. So much, it's, it's just so great to have in your house. If you guys are on PC, obviously, um, then yeah, it's so great to have in your house, having your world all together. But it is a little bit expensive to have. So if you guys need to go down there you guys can have the iron one because the iron one is a little bit cheap to have so it's pretty cool <sighs> next up we have the hell furnace and the hell furnace is it's expensive so we have two nether brick on each side one tnt two blocks of diamond one diamond furnace and three magma cream and you'll get the hell furnace now the hell furnace is going to be four times faster than the original furnace and it's going to be so on and so forth with those ones and it will actually be it is actually 10 times noticeable than the original furnace and iron furnace. It is so sufficient. It's going to save you lots of time playing this game. It's going to save you... Um uh, lots of uh, resources also and it's also it's just it's just so great to have in your world because it is actually saving you time and stuff like that and if you guys have a stack of these in your house if you guys had that much resources and uh, all that stuff and you guys had all the stuff to make this furnace and you have a stack of these it's going to be just great to uh, smell all the, whatever you're smelting if you guys are trying to build something out of stone bricks it's just going to be a great furnace to have and uh, not even the uh, original furnace is done not even the diamond furnace is done see this is why the hell furnace is going to be so great to have um, but yeah even in the, the extreme furnace so we're on to the extreme furnace now and on how to craft this one is going to be two end stone two nether brick two end eyes of ender one health uh, health furnace i almost said ford and uh one another star now the speed is this one is going to be five times faster than the original furnace and so on and so forth with the other ones now this one is going to be 10 times noticeable than any other one that you'll ever have that is the most insane speed i've ever seen of a furnace ever and it's just going to be so great to have in your world if you guys have a stack of these and you guys had uh, enough time on your hands to defeat the the wither uh, you guys are going to be really lucky to have all these inside your house because of the you know having enough to have all your cobblestone if you guys have a stack of these like I said it's going to save you so much time you can only have like two of these and it's gonna save you so much time because all you have to do is wait and then put some more to wait and put some more you guys should have like over 
a full stack of inventory of uh, stone bricks if you guys have enough resources. It's just going to be so great to have in your world. It's better than the Hell, uh, hell Forge. It's just, it's just, wow. Just, I'd get this one. So we do have some upgrades for the furnaces, and if you guys want to have the upgrades, here are the upgrades. We have the liquid fuel upgrade. Now, if you guys are, don't know what the liquid fuel upgrade does, it um, essentially gives you better upgrades. So if you guys put like lava inside your thing, so we'll tell you what it makes. But on that, on how to craft this one is you're gonna need iron, glass, and a bucket of lava uh, bucket right there. So what you can do is you go up to it and you can put this in the slot right here. These slots right here. Then you can go ahead and take the coal out and fill it up with with your buckets of lava and then it's all filled and you can have coal and lava as a fuel system and it will just it's so much more better to have because you have twice as much as fuel inside your furnace is is than a regular vanilla minecraft furnace it's, it's just great to have so the next one we have is the fuel efficiency upgrade which is really cool on how to craft this one is going to be lapis lazuli box and um ender pearls and a piece of coal in the middle now essentially this one what this one does it actually allows you to um keep your uh, fuel really well so so what if, if i put some iron in here and we take this out it is going to give us a slower a slower bit of it's not going to take our coal down as fast as it used to with when, without it so yeah, this is basically going to smelt the 64. So if I take this out and I smelt the 64, it's going to go a little bit. It's, it's, it's going to take it off faster. And now if I put that in there, it goes a lot slower. You guys seen that transition? It's uh, 10 times slower than the normal. So next up, we have the advanced fuel efficiency upgrade. Jeez. And we have the diamond eyes of ender the fuel efficiency upgrade and the gas tier is how you craft it and essentially what this one does is it does not lose durability it is actually um gonna be there forever you guys will it won't it won't lose any durability it's gonna let you have um it forever and you're gonna have it for a really long time it's gonna allow you to have it and it does not uh, lose durability and this is all this one is so the next one we have is the ore processing upgrade it is about the same thing as this one but what this one does is it actually allows you to uh, have what it does is it goes by two it, it gives you two stacks by uh, it gives you two stacks of iron ingots from one stack of iron ore so it'll give you two it's gonna give me two stacks but what this one does is it it, it will lose durability and it only gives you two and that's uh, the bad side about this one. So the next one we have is the advanced one. And on how to craft this one is going to be diamond. Or the ore processing upgrade in piston. And on how to craft the, uh, and on how to craft the old one. Uh, this one is going to be stone and flint and a piston. But what this one does is it actually gives you three instead of two. And it does not lose durability. So it's actually going to give. Oh, actually no it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry. It gives you two but it doesn't break. What it does is it won't break and it just does not lose durability so yeah it's not gonna lose durability it's the same as this one and it's pretty much these ones are the same as well so the next one we have is going to be the color upgrade and how to craft the color upgrade is going to be cocoa beans ink sack bone meal rose red cactus green lapis lazuli pink dye and yet dandelion yellow and a gold in the middle and what this lets you do is actually allows you to color your furnace whatever color you want it, you can color the diamond color you can go ahead and make it a uh, orange color which we'll go with we're gonna go ahead and go here and take out the this one and actually you have an orange furnace like um, no one's ever seen in vanilla minecraft and as you guys can see as we're still talking about this this is still smelting um it's still smelting and it's been a while so yeah this is just goes to show how fast these ones are so what this one does is yeah it allows you to color it and you can color any color you want and it's a pretty cool thing to have in your minecraft world next one we have is going to be the upgrade package and how to craft the upgrade package Package is going to be two gold, uh, four gold, uh, a chest, and two crafting tables. And what this one does is it allows you to actually have more inside your furnace. So if I go ahead and take uh, out uh, these two, and it's going to go back to that color, and I put these in here, and I go ahead and put these in here, it's going to allow you to have one more space of storage. It's going to allow you to have more space inside your upgrade slots, and it's pretty cool to have because it allows you to have more. The next one we are going to have is we're going to have the auto output upgrade what this one does is, oh well the crafting recipe uh first off is going to be iron gold and glass and what this one does it's going to be your output of your up so if i go to this chest and i put it and i put the okay so obviously if i take it first and i take and put the output we're going to actually keep it as left the output is going to be as left so the output is basically if we take some iron it's 
going to act like well the output okay hold on let me actually see okay so what I figured it out what you do is you can go ahead, go ahead and put some iron ore in here and it's going to go ahead and uh, filter them into the chest so if you have way too much and you, and you can't do it and you guys just want to keep actually adding a thing and putting some stuff in the chest and letting it go into a bigger chest uh, let's say like a mod chest if you guys have one is going to put all the stuff that you're smelting inside this chest and uh, the, this is basically would be the input which goes on to the next one that we're going to be on going on to. So the next one that we're going to go on to is going to be the auto input upgrade. Uh, we have, we need gold, a diamond, and a glass in the middle, and it's going to give you the input. And what we're going to want to do with the input is we're going to let it um, go on, and we're going to keep it as left. What this one does is you can actually go ahead and put that in there, and you can put it on the left chest, and it's going to go ahead and filter them in, and it's it's going to do work with the iron one and put that one in here, and it's going to allow you to have lots of other stuff as well. On to the next one is we have the factory uh, upgrade and we're going to need diamond, glass, auto input upgrade and auto output upgrade upgrade and what this one is it's basically all of them but combined into one. So if we have take these out and we take this one so the output's going to be right that one's going to be left and the is going to be on the top. We can go ahead and put this one in here and it has only has 39 pieces of coal. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and put the coal in here. The coal's going to filter in here. We're going to go ahead and put the iron ore in here and it's going to filter into there and then the iron that's going to be smelted is going to go into and that's basically what this one does in a nutshell. It's basically a whole thing that's going to let you have a whole system uh, and save you more time instead of just having to wait until they stop smelting and uh, you have to go and manually take it out and put it in the chest it's gonna actually do that for you so you save more time and it's just gonna be it's just better furnaces like the name of the mod so the next one is actually going to be the, uh, the piping upgrade and the piping upgrade on how to make it is going to be iron and two glass this one is actually what it says is it actually changes the size on which the furnace connects to hoppers and that's basically what it does I'm not gonna show you how this one is because I, I couldn't figure it out but it's basically kind of like the factory one but you can actually change the directions of the hoppers going out and it's almost like so the output you have the input and you have the fuel and then if you have a whole hopper system you can do that and you can actually put it inside here and it's going to actually work as it says what it's going to do if you guys have it connected right i me personally could not figure it out so i'm not going to figure it out for you guys today because it's just going to take too a little bit too long for me so and as you can tell this one's already done it has all that one in here and it has all that one in here and there's still 31 so you can fill this whole chest up with coal and it's just a better thing and not on top of that you can have the uh, the advanced one that's inside here you can have the advanced one and then you have a whole thing and you can have um, the liquid upgrade and it's just gonna be so this is gonna be such an overpowered furnace it's gonna be like probably one of the best furnaces I've ever seen but with that said everybody I am done with this Oh, wow, I said that word. I'm done with this mod showcase. If you guys like the video, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that is just adding, it adds better furnaces. And with your guys' um, uh, Minecraft world, you guys can have such overpowered furnaces and it saves you more time. You can have a whole layout system with either hoppers or with the factory or output or input one. And it's just going to be so, it's just such a good um, addition to have in your world. If you guys want to install this, uh, just look at better furnaces. I, I'm not going to add a um, thing. I probably will add a a description so if you guys want to build uh, build this or not build this uh, uh, download this mod it's in the description below and uh, yeah so with that said thank you everybody so much for watching and as always I'll see you guys in the next video peace oh, 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 oh.